Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we're looking at Immortal X-Men issue 17 Fall of X and we've got this lovely variant cover via Phil Noto uh, of Ansaban Nu. I think I said that completely wrong. We have this opening uh, thing about uh, Jean Grey from the Book of Apocalypse, Bennett du Paris translation and our story begins with... Um, Professor Xavier saying, you know, that he knows that Sinister's in there. He wasn't uh, released like the others. And um, there's by sunset, he will be gone one way or the other. He only knows one other way. And he says to him, can you provide an alter alternative, etc. So he says, let me try and help you understand what is going on here. And it's the White Hot Danger Room. It's written by Kieran Gillen. June Jose Reap is the artist. I hope I said that correctly. I may not have for what I apologize. Dave Corral on the colors. VCs Clay and Cows on the letters, lettering. Tom Muller and Jay Bowen on design as always. And like I said, the Phil Noto is the quiet cancel cover, etc. So they're in the White Heart Room. They are facing off against Apocalypse. And um, it soon becomes um, clear that they are creating these uh, these villains to face, such as Bishop, Wolverine, because they are challenges that they that they must pass to... They, well, pass, yeah, because they are testing themselves. Pretty much in terms of Paris, um, Exodus is a view, it is Apocalypse. You know, he was once a, a crusader back when Apocalypse was uh, the great, um, I can't remember what Egyptians leads are called. I'm so sorry, that is very, very poor of me to not check on that beforehand. So, in reality, Exodus never knew he could beat Apocalypse, hence why when he's stabbing, he's not disappearing. He because he, he's almost going to lose. And it also reminds me of the Game of Thrones um, episode where, um, what's his name, 41, and the giant um, crushed his face. That's what I thought was going to happen, but I don't think I've ever seen anything that bloody in a Marvel thing. But what he does believe in, and he always has, I think he always will, is hope. And that gives hope the power to become Phoenix again. And literally rifle through there etc and destroy uh paris's um challenge etc so defeating him so therefore they've sort of passed and it's a bit of philosophy and blah 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 etc so um jean gray is still there but she is not um the jean gray we know from the hellfire gala so to speak she is um she lives in the White Heart Room where the Phoenix lives. And um, then she, it's sort of like the Phoenix saying, you'll learn more about me, boys, in time. Oh, wait a minute. That was her first send to the original X-Men, wasn't it? Um, completely missed that. So anyway, something's going on with Jean. She's not quite there. She is clearly in a bad place. So meanwhile, Sinister and Xavier talk. Um, they talk about Fu Forge's cure. Now, everybody is cured but Forge, but Professor Xavier, sorry. Um, and that is because, um, do you remember, I mean, very long ago after um, Messiah Complex, Xavier was shot in the brain, Sinister was killed, and Sinister was trying to get himself back alive by regenerating certain people. Um, Xavier being one, Marco Kane was the other one, uh, and there's a couple more. And it was... Um, so he's basically attached himself to these old protocols, etc. But he knows that he cannot get in there. He is not strong enough. He never has been. He sort of admits that he is not in Professor Xavier's league. And he knows that he can't win. And even though he's tried to be this big, big baddie, um, maybe he should have stuck his apocalypse science lackey, etc. So, which is which is good. Good for some of the others, etc. So, he, he shows him what he's been doing. He shows him 
what's been happening in the background and what is left of him. So the proof is there and you can tell Emma that she is clean, which is great, but he is not. And he's going to deal with that. Now, the, the thing that the Sinister is sort of hanging on to is the fact that there is a dominant out there in the universe. And he wants Xavier's help to stop this dominance. So there is a story to come at some point off the back of the sins of Sinister because this Sinister couldn't achieve dominant because one of the others achieved it, so to speak. So, yeah, he he wants to do it, etc. Um, and if I remember rightly, there are four four other Sinisters, if I can remember correctly. So it is really interesting. It's almost like begging with Xavier for this um, opportunity to get back at them for for a bit of spite, etc. And what he's telling him is the truth, etc. That's all it is. Uh, meanwhile... Mother Righteous uh, tells uh, Destiny that they're in the White Heart Room. And that's why you can't see the future or the past. Now, but there is something outside of time and space that is um, dangerous to Mother Righteous. And, well, she goes to uh, stab her. It's, you know, she tries to sort of tell her to stop, but surely she knew what was... I know she's blind, but surely she could have known and she gets stabbed, etc. The young man who's, um, I think it's a young man, has been um, helping Destiny, uh, runs to um, to the others, etc. So Mother Righteous has to do something drastic, and that is using the White Heart Room um, by having Krakoa, this Krakoa that is here, turn against everybody and they are in a fight for their lives etc so um one thing i wanted to do and i'm really sorry because i can't remember where it was in fact no it must be around here yeah so we've got so in terms of the other sinister so we've got status orbis stellas and the third one is uh, Mother Righteous, so she is the Sinister, uh, which Destiny actually identifies as well. So we're sort of left on this sort of cliffhanger where they're fighting for themselves, etc. And Xavier and Sinister, Sinister's managed to splice this together, etc. It's a sort of portal, um, and they're happy to go off. Xavier is because Shaw's not going to make a move because he's dealing with the Hellfire problem, the Hellfire cl Club problem, you know. Um, greed will always come before that, etc. So um, now I'm not sure if this is going to be their mission is towards facing the, the dominant Sinister or whether it's about trying to save these folks. Um, and I'm not even sure when Immortal, if Immortal X-Men is um, going to continue because um, I cannot see anything beyond the next issue. So I really hope, I mean, I don't know whether they're just going to do the, the, the rise in whatever of um, for whatever it's called event that's coming up in January, which I will be reviewing if I can remember its names. I pre-ordered the first issue, so I can't go wrong. Um or whether Immortal X-Men will jump back and that story will continue. I'm not entirely sure, but Immortal X-Men has, if if it does finish, I think I'd be a little bit sad because it's actually been probably one of my favorite um, runs in this uh, Krakoa era, etc. Um, also, one thing that I didn't mention is that in the background throughout this whole thing, there's been a sort of monologue, and I think it's coming from this Jean Grey, and this Jean Grey has been a bit... Um, she feels like she's missing sake. So it's not time yet. Cold, dying. I'm never cold and I can't die. Can I? And then it just ends with an X. Not even a to be continued. But I know that there's a, another issue, number 18, because I've got that in pre-order. So at least we've got, at the very least, one more issue, which I hope. So anyway, I really enjoyed this issue. Um, there was there was a lot of... Um, 
character driven stories which i do enjoy lots of special moments in there you know i love the fact that exodus uh, faith in uh hope paid off perhaps not in the way that he intended but you know that this he had you can see he has this real faith in her etc which is which is fantastic so anyway i hope you like my video if you do please support my channel by subscribing thank you for watching uh thank you to those already subscribed to my channel look after yourself and as always embrace geekiness take care goodbye